If you thought smartwatches in India were always going to be expensive and not really value for money, well, things are about to change. Xiaomi bagged Huami recently launched its affordable smartwatches in India, the Amazfit Bip and the Amazfit Stratos, and well, they are really interesting, especially the incredibly low-priced Amazfit Bip. So let's take a look at the Amazfit Bip. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from vbomb.com, but more importantly, this here is the Amazfit Bip. And it seems amazing. But before I talk more about this incredible smartwatch, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Also, this video is brought to you by Wix.com, which lets you create some stunning websites. I'll talk more about Wix at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Now then, let's get started. The first thing you'll notice when you take a look at the Amazfit Bip is that it looks remarkably like a Pebble Time or an Apple Watch or a combination of the two which is not a bad thing and honestly you gotta agree that this is a pretty good looking smartwatch for its price. The casing here is slim and made out of plastic but it doesn't look cheap or flimsy so that's great. There's a single button here that you can press to unlock the watch, go back inside menus and even long press to launch customizable actions. Mine is currently set to launching an outdoor activity, but you can choose from these activities and settings, so that's really handy. The strap for the Amazfit Bip is made out of silicone and while it feels really soft to the touch, it's pretty damn strong too. Plus the straps are swappable, so you can always swap them out for a different strap to suit your fancy. Personally, I'm pretty happy with the strap because it feels really good and is really comfortable. Plus it helps that the watch itself is very lightweight. I mean, it's just 31 grams, you actually have to hold it to know how lightweight it is. Look, the Amazfit Bip may be a super affordable smartwatch, but it's also very well built and it has the IP68 rating, so you can wear it during the rains or take it for a swim or during a workout. So I really have no complaints when it comes to the design and build of the Amazfit Bip. Then there's the display. It's a 1.28 inch color touch display with Gorilla Glass 3, which isn't all that great, but at this price, it's decent enough. I mean, the brightness here is pretty decent and I face no issues using the watch outdoors or in other lighting conditions. There's no auto brightness here, which may be disappointing to some people, but personally, I never used auto brightness on my Moto 360, so it's not a big deal for me. Moving on to the features the Amazfit Bip packs, first let's talk about the sensors. The Amazfit Bip features GPS plus GLONASS for positional tracking, barometer for elevation, geomagnetic sensor, which is basically a compass, PPG heart rate sensor for self-explanatory reasons and a 3-axis accelerometer for activity, sports and sleep tracking. When it comes to the software on the watch, it's Huami's proprietary OS and while it does pack in a lot of features, if you're expecting features that are usually found in pricey smartwatches, well, you'll be disappointed. The watch shows you the steps you've taken, your heart rate, the distance you've walked and the calories you've burned. Plus, you can start an activity directly inside the watch. There are options for outdoor running, treadmill and a lot more along with activity settings which include some really handy options like heart rate alerts which will notify you when your heart rate gets too high. Apart from that, the watch brings you weather details, alarms, timers and more but more importantly, the watch brings you notifications for messages and calls. But while you can view these notifications, you can't reply to them but nevertheless, it's a handy feature to have. Also, if you're wondering if it has multiple watch faces, well, yes, it does, and you can change them from the settings. So it's a featured smartwatch, but if you look at its features, it is very similar to the Mi Band 3. It has all the features the Mi Band 3 had. Heck, it even connects with the Mi Fit app and handles notifications like the Mi Band 3 did. So yes, the features here are very Mi Band 3-like, but for the extra price, you're getting a smartwatch design, a bigger battery, more sensors, and a color display. While all that is good, I have a few complaints with the watch. Firstly, there's no way to unlock the watch without pressing the button, which is annoying because it's just easier to tap on the screen to unlock it. I also don't like the fact that you cannot lock the screen manually. Now that's just an obvious oversight. Also, I hate the fact that I cannot set alarms directly from the watch. Yes, you have to use the Mi Fit app for that. There's also no voice assistant here. You can't install apps on it. You can't control music with it. Basically, it's very limited, but at this price, it's the best you can get. On the connectivity front, there's Bluetooth 4.0 and setting it up is pretty easy with the Mi Fit app. There's also an Amazfit app, but that weirdly does not show an option to set up the Amazfit bit. 
Anyway, moving on to the battery, we all know that one of the biggest issues of a smartwatch is the battery life, and the Amazfit Bip basically solves that problem. It has a 190mAh battery and Amazfit claims that it will last you around 30 days with usual usage and 45 days with minimal notifications. I obviously haven't been using the smartwatch for that long but in the last 30 hours I have been using it the way anyone would use a smartwatch and the battery has gone down to just 80% from 100 so it should last pretty long. I am honestly expecting a great battery life of this smartwatch. On the charging front, the charging mechanism for the watch is really different. You can't just drop your watch into the charger to juice it up, you have to press it in hard for it to click into place and begin charging. It's kind of annoying sometimes but it shouldn't be an issue because the battery life here should be amazing. While the battery life should be pretty good, the best thing about the Amazfit Bip is the price. The smartwatch is available on Flipkart from Rs 5500 and at that price it really doesn't have much of a competition. Yeah, there are some smartwatches from lesser known companies but they don't offer similar battery life or the low profile and lightweight design that the Amazfit Bip offers. So if you're wondering if you should buy the Amazfit Bip, well my answer is yes, most definitely. The Amazfit Bip is just a great value for money smartwatch with all its features, the amazing battery life, the IP68 rating and the great comfortable design. So that was all about the Amazfit Bip, but as you all know, Huami also launched a higher price Amazfit Stratos smartwatch which features a circular design, a higher water resistance rating, onboard music and a lot more. If you're interested in the Amazfit Stratos smartwatch, you can check out our first impressions from the link in the description below. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsor for this video. Wix.com is a great tool to help you make a website for yourself, your business or anything else. It's 2018 and having a website is important, be it to showcase your work, showcase your small business or even to showcase your resume or CV to potential employers like us. I tried out Wix to build my website and I did a fairly good job in just a few minutes. Wix lets you create different types of websites like a business website, a website for your online store, photography, music, events, blogs, basically anything. Plus you get so many templates and advanced tools like Wix videos, Wix pro gallery, Wix bookings, etc. Overall, Wix caters to everyone, be it someone who is creating his first website or a professional website builder. So that was a good look at the Amazfit Bip smartwatch. This was obviously not a review and if you're looking for one, we'll be posting our in-depth review on the website soon so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let me know what you think about this watch in the comments and share it with your friends who are looking to buy an affordable smartwatch. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.